What's going on everyone? So we are now going to do our second review for the men's cologne series. Now, this is actually kind of coming from a little experiment I did. Um, I kept getting those ads for alt fragrances, basically advertising that they had the same fragrance formula as the name brand colognes and at a fraction of the price so and no this is not a sponsored ad although it probably should be um i decided to try them out so i got i did a sampler and i think i got like six different scents and out of the sampler i thought wow these are really good these are very accurate so i ended up getting three full-size bottles so we are going to be doing one of those today and this is the scent number 22 Corsair from Alt Fragrances. This is inspired by Viking. And this, let me give it a spray and I'll I'll break it down for you. So yeah, it's very good. So these <laughs> it's, this is a very strong cologne. So these scents are for a full-size bottle like this. Um, I forgot how many, how many ounces and milliliters it is, but anyway, for a full size bottle, it's going to be $40, you know, $39.99. And honestly, these are concentrated enough where a couple sprays will do the trick for the whole entire day. Um, so this, like I said, it's inspired by Viking and I think this is one of the one of the spicier scents that I've ever used as a cologne. Um the the top notes right off the bat and you do you smell it. So you're going to start with a little bit of of citrus. There's a little bit of lemon in there. And then after that you get hit with pepper. So pink pepper and then you also have a little bit of of bergamot in there. Uh it all kind of mixes together really nicely. After that you can smell a little bit of refreshing peppermint in there. There's a tiny, tiny hint of some floral rose. And then after that, they have more pepper in there. The final base layer is going to be a little smoother. So you're going to have sandalwood, you're going to have vetiver, and then you're also going to have patchouli and maybe just a tad of lavender. But I think overall, there's a lot to unpack here. Uh, your senses just kind of get hit right off the bat. When you take that first spray of this, you're like, wow, there's so many things I'm smelling here. Um, but it's definitely spicy. So the pepper is very noticeable, but it's not too overpowering from a pepper standpoint. Like I've tried some other men's like body sprays and stuff that had pepper and they were just like very dry, very pepper, too much. This, it's a nice mixture because you have the pepper but then you have that little bit of citrus, patchouli, bergamot, and even, you know, like that little bit of, of rose and, and peppermint. And it's just a little, you know, a lot of pepper with a little bit, bit, little bit of soothing behind it. So this is very nice. I actually like this kind of cologne closer towards Christmas and some of those holidays. It feels a little bit festive. Uh, it just kind of stands out, especially in that cold weather. Um... I think it goes perfectly with it. So this is one of my favorite winter type of colognes, kind of warms up your senses <laughs> with all that pepper. So I do definitely recommend this. It's a great one. This one's called Corsair, number 22 by Alt Fragrances. Uh, highly recommend $40, or if you want to go out, go all out and just get the Viking name brand version. I don't remember exactly how that much was, um, but I think it was around a hundred dollars or so so i could be wrong i don't remember it's been a while since i've checked but that is my review of corsair and we will see you next time